the game of croquet. She's as untamable and changing as the ocean. Some have learned to master her, such as this man. Today he plans to win and accomplish his heart's very desire and best the balls. You're here with Cleveland's best. We're at the 45th annual croquet championship. There's Burt Bacharach and Andy Trodorskovich, leading champion. Now to find out today's starting competitor, we take the balls and we see how far one can throw them. We know Zach Bacharach to be quite talented in the area of ball throwing. Let's give it a try, Zach. And he's off. Almost. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh! That was a far one. That's really out there. Wow. It's up to Andy Trodorskovich to beat the throw. And he's off! Man, look at that. Didn't go quite as far, and that was a good attempt, though. Alright, folks, that means Zach's up first as he retrieves his black ball. Look at those powerful fists. Man. And Zach Bacharach's up. And what a shot! Trodorskovich. Don't do anything on with the blue ball, which is right there. <laughs> and what a swing he has. Oh, and a tragic miss. He's off to a horrible start. That's blatant interference, folks. And the next shot. He's staring it down, folks. Come on, hit the ball already. Ooh. Oh! Okay. What a roll! Was that startling, Andy? Yes. He's staring it down too. Look at that shot. He has to hook it in the hole. We call it a uh, blind double back double fog hook in the game. I'm croquette. Okay, ready. Wow! Now for hoop number 17, folks. This is a doozy. We call this the vertical, vertical lateral double swinger. That is tricky. Now this is Zach Bacharach. He is probably one of the best at the Cinderella double cross dance and the vertical lateral. And what a shot! That is incredible. Now Andy Trodorskovich is not known for the vertical lateral. It's actually probably the worst facet of his game. And that was ugly. That was awful. You could have done that a lot better. I was thinking to myself he was probably going to crash and burn, but... And he did. Most likely, I think I've seen much better croquet, and I expect a lot from him if he is not completely mentally disturbed right this second. He's fallen into a deep hole from which he can't get out. The hole that croquet has left in his heart, his very large heart. Now he sits and trembles on his trampoline, with his dog trying to bring him out of this funk that our last Epic croquet match has left him in it. That, that looks painful. Ow.